This lecture is on the normal probability plot. All right, the normal probability plot is for a small group of data to see if the data from the larger population is normally distributed. We need to know if it's normally distributed so we can find probabilities. Everything that we learned in Chapter 6 so far is based on a normal distribution. So we've got to know if our probability, if we can do probability by knowing if our data is normally distributed. All right, to do the normal probability plot then, what we need is our normal scores. The normal scores are the scores that if our data was normally distributed, it would have these Z scores. All right, you can find this on Table 3, either in your pullout or in the back of your book. You'll see on the top row that you have N equals 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That's the sample size that you have. So here I have some data, my top row, and I have nine pieces of data. So I go to N equals 9, and right below N equals 9 on Table 3, the normal scores, I'll see that they're normal scores. First thing we have to do is put our data in order. So I, as you see, I put this data in order from 500 to 1200. And I've paired it with the normal scores. Again, I put those in order from least to greatest. Now I just have to plot these. So I have my X's, my scores that I have up here on my X axis. And then my normal scores are going to be on my Y axis. So I just have to plot these. My first point is going to be 500, negative 1.5. So I go to 500, negative 1.5, and I put a dot. 550, negative 0.93. Get a little bit closer to zero. 630, and I have negative 0.57. 650, negative 2.7. 720, zero. 750.27 820 960.93 1201.5 Now with our data what we're trying to see is if those dots make somewhat of a line. If we connected the dots, does it make some of what of a line? If it makes somewhat of a line an approximate line, then we can say our data is approximately normally distributed. If it makes a curve, then we cannot say it's normally distributed. As you can see, even though they're fairly scattered, I can see a line forming with my points. So therefore, this data is normally distributed, and then we could find the probability of, let's say, being less than 700 in our general population.